All right, Friday, May 15, the factory farm. Okay, excellent news. Last night we, we got the full shipment out with James Slade of the tractor compressed earth brick press package. Things are rolling along. We got some first real working cuts of the iron worker machine. That was great. Uh, other progress. Let's uh, talk about it. We've got well, new we guests. Well, we had four chicks yesterday, too. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell um, us about yesterday and what you're doing today. Uh, yesterday, I finished up a lot of the remaining stuff on the angle clamp and the flat clamp. Mm -hmm. Welded it back, all back up together, put it on the machine. We tested one by six, worked great. Now we got to get some one by eight, see if it'll do that. Um, other items helped prepare the thing for shipment. Um, cut some wires down so they weren't in the way. Made a little harness. And let's see, today I'm going to be continuing just tying up some loose ends on the iron worker, mm -hmm. finishing the flat clamp, and a few other things. Okay. Let's go to our guest, our Hello. new member, so G Gabrielle LeBlanc. Just she, got here this morning. Yep. Yeah, so she's going to be our farm manager, hopefully moving up to farm director if she just sticks around and gets us all fed from local <laughs> resources. So tell us, tell us how you're feeling these days. I'm feeling great. I just got here. I'm enjoying the humidity and the heat. Um, I'm looking forward to surveying in detail the farm. I took a yeah. walk around and it's okay. gorgeous. So there's okay. a lot of potential here. And I'm going to work on the sweet potatoes that are happening right now. And Are they live? There's eight. Eight plants. So that's a 4% success rate. Okay. But um, Tom said, or Tim said he could get more. He sent me a couple of resources, and he's going to pay awesome. for them if he, if I can find someone to slip still. So if we plant them, yeah, we want to. We plant them before the end of June. Should be, should be good. I think we can just replant yeah. all of the ones that didn't do. Um, but there's eight that are going. That's so. awesome. Okay, so today we'll do. We'll start talking about the survey and farm plan and yeah. all of that. So that's a that's big news. It's awesome news finally getting back to the farm aspect of factory farm. Okay. Hey Jose, tell Hi. us more. Why are you laughing every time you you <laughs> recording me? I don't know. You should. Have. Well, yesterday we have been using the iron worker. Um, you have been making a new table for the workshop iron table. And uh, with Aiden, what? He's helping out. Aiden's helping out. Yeah, it's Aiden is is learning a lot of work in workshop working, and that is good. I learned uh -huh. very good on that. Um, we what do you have got today? About today, we, I have to, to, to recite the material to make something with the torch table because yeah. I'm, I really would like to do that, but uh, it depends on the swagger. So. Okay, swagger call first thing. Yeah. If he's able to deliver today, that will be all good. So first thing I'll call him. Okay, hey Chris. Morning. So um, yesterday we uh, uh, drove Ian to the airport and also um, we went through more calculations on the torch table, figured out the, uh, the offset needed for the z-axis so that we can cut out parts for the life track and CEB press. Uh -huh. um, so today, um, I actually taken Aiden over to St. Joe, where we're picking up some materials for the bed, mm -hmm. and then also we're going to, I'm going to draw out the um, z-axis offset. So there's okay. a piece, um, actually let me show you a piece. Brianna, bring out a cut, a sample cut. That's good to show. Um, I'm uh, going to propose today that we we replace this piece right here um, with with another piece that offsets the z-axis about four in three to four inches, which will be uh, give us enough clearance for cutting out everything. Okay. That's it. So that's work for today. That's work for today. Okay. Who's next? Brianna's going to show off some sample cuts. Yeah. So just talk See this talk about that. very clean shear? Yeah. It's kind of funky near the edges. Um, this one was because we had that failure the first time when the clamp broke. So that's why it looks funny. A key, but um, here we get, I mean, it's pretty yeah. clean cut. This is exactly nice. what I've been hoping for to see on one inch. A lot of the machines, they'll have more of a step. You can see it's got a subtle step, but it is subtle. Like a lot of them will have a very pronounced ridge where it finally shears off. Mm -hmm. But this doesn't. That means the gap is perfect. And... This is what I guaranteed my machine would do, so we're excited that it does it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna try doing a little more when we get the chance. Okay. Uh, this is the sample. angle. I should find the bigger the four angle. By cut. Four by four. Let me get the four by four. Sample four by four shear. Yeah. So the four by four cut really clean too. We didn't have anything thicker to try it out on. Yeah. Um, 
Theoretically, it should do three eighths by six by six, but we got to get our hands on some of that. Uh, also, got to call Piranha, which is the industrial manufacturer of these, and see if they you can cut unequal leg length, which basically means you know <coughs> instead of being a square right here, it would be rectangular. So maybe four by six or something like that. Because if we can do that, we can test it on some of the three eighths by that we have. So okay, that'd be good. That's excellent. Good news. First productivity increase on cutting metal here. Yeah, Bangles this takes a lot less time cuts. than this. Yeah, so basically, you got torching, and then the other side, shear. The shear is what? One, a few seconds. Torching is, you know, half a minute, minute. Or, no, or more like minutes. five minutes because you got to grind it off and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Grind it off, good if guy. you consider grinding too, yep. Okay, excellent. Okay, Aiden, tell us. So yesterday I started working on the welding table. Got Jose working for me on that, and, um, <laughs> um, and uh, learned how to change the pump on a power cube, real easy. Um, Modular pump, yeah, because we blew one out because we ran it without a hose, without hoses. We, meaning me. Um, and then, what else did I do? I put together a video of the loading up the CB pellet pulverizer and life track. Helped out with that today. Mm -hmm. Finishing up the welding table, mm -hmm. to get that done, picking up some straw mattresses, and uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds like a day. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, hey, Darren. Still working on limit switches. Yunso just came up with a great idea of how to design them, and we're going to work on that this morning. And documentation is finally starting to happen for the electronics for the torch table. Oh, excellent. How about the just the little triggers for, let's say, it's a t if it's a CNC torch, a uh, plasma torch? That's, is that part of the whole I.O. scheme? If we get a plasma torch before I leave, uh -huh. then we can get that going. Okay. All right. All right. Got the full assembly of the cold saw with the revised blade guard. After the major simplification regarding the welding and the swivel angle yesterday, but CB press testing and making sure I was ready for shipment took the rest of my time. And yeah, so we shook be, down the, there were little, little bugs in the documentation. Yeah, yeah, how to get the things. Yeah, yeah. so we, we're changing that. Yep. Fortunately, that was all resolved, and today I'll be uploading all of the new models and the 2D fabrication drawings onto the wiki, and today beginning sourcing for the cold cut <laughs> for the cold, for the cold saw. saw. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Okay, awesome. Okay, so that about says it for Friday, June 15 at Factory Farm.